All of us have a lot of dreams. We dream right from our childhood. A lot of children say they want to become a doctor. And as they go on, they say we want to become a surgeon. And they say we want to innovate something. We want to be famous. We want to have a big name. Then we always want to contribute something to the country, to the universe. And then to be known forever. Well, how many people can actually realize their dreams? Today, I want to talk about somebody who not just dreamt, but he lived much more than anybody else and achieved so much, it's just hard to imagine. I wish to talk about Dr. Tampton Erat Udwadia, who is not amongst us anymore. But then his memories are going to stay with us and most of us will cherish all the good things that we had to remember him forever. Dr. Udwadia, perhaps not able to bear the pain of the patients who were undergoing surgeries, tried to avoid these surgeries. He dreamt about laparoscopy. He went to Germany, bought with his own money, got the equipment and established a laparoscopic unit in JJ Hospital way back in 1972. And he was the first person in the country in the surgical field to start laparoscopic surgeries. This needed much more than a vision. It was a dream come true. Having done several thousands of laparoscopies, he went on to be the first surgeon in developing world to start doing video laparoscopic surgeries, meaning laparoscopic cholecystectomies. Dr. Udwadia was always willing to put one step ahead of others. He was trying to brave and try to look at new frontiers. His wisdom, his confidence, his commitment has now opened doors to a new world of surgery. And we all cherish this today. Not just performing surgeries, but he went on to start an association at the national level, the IAGES, Indian Association of Gastrointestinal Endosurgeons. And this became a very well-known association, was recognized by the Asian Association, became a part of the International Association of Laparoscopic Surgeons. And today, there is much more done by this association than almost any other in our country and we all have benefited out of it. I always remember Swami Vivekananda having started the Ram Krishna movement, the way he established it, the way he has formulated the rules and regulations and the guidelines has gone a big way to make it such a big organization today and very well recognized in the country and the world. The same has happened about IAGES and we know that it is one of the best associations in the world. Dr. Udwadia's efforts has not gone in vain. It has been recognized throughout the globe. In India, he got the highest award given to any doctor, Dr. B.C. Roy Award for having established laparoscopic surgery in India. He was recognized in the UK by becoming the Hunterian Professor at the Royal College of England. He was awarded Sir James Ross Oration at the Royal College of Edinburgh. He gave the Pandalai Oration, which is the highest oration given to any Indian in the Association of Surgeons of India. He is a recipient of Dr. Carl Storr's award by the sages which is not obtained by any other Indian till today. He was awarded a gold medal by Dr. Abdul Kalam along with a citation. He is a recipient of Padma Shri and Padma Bhushan, which are the highest awards given to any Indian. 
Dr. Udwadia was the founder president of the IAGES, the Indian Association of Laparoscopic Surgeons, the president of ELSA, the Asian Association, and then also the president of IFSES, the World Body of Laparoscopic Surgeons. He was the national president as well as the world body's president of the International College of Surgeons. He headed the Indian Association of Surgeons, which is the largest body of surgeons in India. Dr. Udwadia was also the president of the Society of Laparoscopic and Endoscopic Surgeons of Asia. He has been honored with the Order of British Empire by Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. Dr. Udwadia conducted several workshops across the globe. He went to every nook and corner of India and he has motivated several surgeons to get into laparoscopic surgery. He has traveled far and wide, including to Nepal, Bangladesh, Myanmar, Brazil, China and many other developing countries. And today, there are several thousands of surgeons who have benefited out of his workshops. His lectures were always mesmerizing. They were so motivating, full of information, knowledge and experience. And I was always trying to by heart every lecture of his. Every sentence that he spoke, every word that he uttered meant a lot to me. Today, I should say I am really proud for having imbibed a lot of his messages and becoming much more wise and practical in laparoscopic surgery and having gained a lot personally. I consider myself truly fortunate for having known him for more than three decades. Right from the time he established the IAGES, I have been looking at him very closely. He has been my leader and my role model. I have benefited so much from him. He has given me a lot of opportunities to give keynote lectures and guest lectures across the country and also in the World Congress of Endoscopic Surgery where he was heading as the IFSES president. I was invited to Berlin as a guest faculty. He has been very kind to me and he has mentioned my name and my work in several conferences, in several keynote addresses across the globe. And this is something that I have been very fortunate about. He supported me thoroughly in my work in innovating the laparoscopic surgery virtual reality simulator. And he gave me a lot of valuable inputs which helped me improvise the simulator that I had developed. He has been an editor of several journals, including the Indian Journal of Surgery. But what we cannot ever forget is his brainchild, the Journal of Minimal Access Surgery, which he started and really made it come to the best possible level and most recognized journal in minimal access surgery across the world. Perhaps one of his greatest contributions to laparoscopic surgery has been the establishing of CMAST, the Center of Excellence for Minimal Access Surgery Training. His personality is something that nobody can ever deny and he was able to influence Mrs. Storrs to establish this center in India. And in the first two years, they did such an amazing work that almost 8,000 surgeons were trained in this center. The innovations and the type of training that has gone through in this center is something that I feel has never happened anywhere else in the world. In 2006, we had the National Conference of IAGES at Bangalore and Dr. Udwadia came to Bangalore Endoscopic Surgery Training Institute and Research Center. It was my birthday and he got the world's best 
and most senior laparoscopic surgeons, the presidents of all the country's associations. And this was the greatest honor for me. And they greatly appreciated my work and they spent a lot of time with me looking at whatever we are doing and giving me valuable inputs. The IAGES has awarded Dr. Udwadia with the Lifetime Achievement Award. I was greatly honored by Dr. Udwadia when he accepted the Lifetime Achievement Award being given by my institute, Bangalore Endoscopic Surgery Training Institute and Research Center. This happened during our conference, International Conference of Advanced Bariatric Conclave. And I was really honored because the Health Minister of Karnataka, Dr. Khadar, flew from Mangalore to Bangalore just to attend that evening's function and honor Dr. Udwadia. And he flew back to Mangalore the very next day morning. I can never forget what Udwadia has done to me. And I would always like to cherish his memories and like to live up to his example and try to contribute whatever I can to the world of endoscopic surgery. Thank you.